mula sa impila ng karunungan. MLS Medical Laboratory Science. Tara na kami samahan sa biochemistry sa inyong mga tahanan. Tara na itong hayan ang limang maestrong walang inuturuan. and I will conduct our experiment for this day through extracting different oils and waxes from different fruits and leaves. For this experiment, we will use taro leaves to extract essential oils or wax. Before anything else, please proceed with caution when conducting experiments. First, wash the taro leaves with clean tap water. Fill the cooking pot with water and place the clean taro leaves into the pot and cover it. Place the pot into heat until it boils. When an unusual texture or color is observed, turn off the heat. For this experiment, the sample was boiled for 30 minutes. Remove the leaves from the cooking pot using a strainer or a pair of tongs. Pour the remaining solution into a clean container and you will observe some trace oils that is floating. Cool down the solution or to speed the process, put it in a refrigerator until the wax is formed. Remove the wax particles from the solution. Melt extracted wax into another pot and put it in a molder that has a salt. You can put a wick into the molder to serve as a candle. The experiment yielded at least 10 ml of trace oil particles from the taro. The same boiling process was done with the process to make a coconut oil. For our post discussion, we will be answering four questions. The first question is, how does wax come out from the taro leaves? The answer is simple. The wax come out from the taro leaves when we boil it. Hot water will melt the wax in the leaves and it will eventually float in the water. Number two, why does wax come out in high temperature? Wax come out in high temperature because wax is usually melts between 30 to 100 degrees Celsius. Number three, why does wax solidifies in low temperature? Melted wax undergoes solidification process in which liquid turns to solid. It solidifies at low temperature because usually waxes has freezing point of 2 to 3 degrees Celsius below their melting point. It also depends on their saturation of fats. The more saturated the fat is, the more likely to solidify in low temperature. Number 4. Why do we need salt in our candles? We need salt in our candles to slow down the rate in which the wax melts. It will give the candle longer life or longer time before it runs out.